154 here, and we are going to continue Donkey Kong Country 2 with Creme Key, starting first level Barrel Bayou. This is the first uh, marshy level of the game. I think there's a couple of them besides in this world. But I think this world's where the difficulty steps up a little bit. World 1 is World 1, just basic controls and things. World 2 was sort of like gimmick world, because there's like gimmicks everywhere. And this is sort of a little more difficult. It's not like where the difficult really steps up, but it's definitely more difficult significantly. It's not like progressively harder, it's significantly harder. So yeah, those are cloaks. They're sort of like ghost kremlings that'll sh throw random items at you. Good and bad. Bananas, lives, other things. Like, they can throw bees and boxes that can hurt you. See, he threw bananas and then he threw a bee. So they can be nice, but they can be jerks. Now I really like the background, how it's like trees and the marsh. And this song just goes really well. Now what you want to do here is just charge Rambi and then run all the way through all those enemies. And here's the hero coin. Now here, you're going to want to follow this cloak. And he'll lead you to a bonus. And that's why you need to clear all those enemies out with Rambi. He throws a chest, which you use to kill him. So it's sort of like suicide. And then you take that cannonball into the cannon for our first bonus. And yeah, this is easy. Just throw the cannonball. And the zinger will die. And the flutter will as well. So pretty easy. And then these barrels all Mac to shoot you. You just hold the control pad to the right. And then you won't have to worry about falling or anything. Pretty simple, but it looks tricky. They do that a lot. Here are banana clobbers that steal your bananas again. Use it to kill the bee. Get a banana coin. Um, is he gonna throw a bee? Yeah, he threw a bee. Can you jump? Yeah, you can jump on him. That's cool. Where's the midway? Oh, the midway's... No, I already got the midway. I'm at the G. I thought I was like... I'm like, where's the midway? Wait, it's the G. But we got Kug. Kug does not spell Kong. And you have to jump off those barrels at the right time. No. No. That bonus. I want that bonus. Well, maybe I can respawn him. Can I? I know I can. It always lets you respawn. Okay, now let's try it. No. No. Uh, might as well die. Splash. Now we'll cut back to that bonus. Pretty much back to where it was. I've decided to stop like cutting as much. Because like you don't really get the experience of watching me have to go all the way through the level again. So I've decided not to cut unless I've died twice. Which seems fair. So... Yeah. In this bonus, you just control these barrels by moving them with the control pad, and then move around the era area till you get to the crumb coin. And let's try to get the free life. There we go. And that was Barrel Bayou. And we got everything, which is good. Did we? Yeah, we got everything. Now, Glimmer's Galleon. This level is dark underwater and is a maze so it can be pretty tough to uh, get around and it's pretty long so let's find the token in this maze all you have to do is hug the wall pretty simple because it's just one path so just hug the wall and you'll be fine it's not even that dark you can pretty much see so Pretty easy bonus, but there is another one later on in the level. We'll get to later. Up here is some banana coins and bananas. Down here are some more bananas, and up here is the hero coin. Or the DK coin. I'm just gonna call them hero coins, because that's what Cranky calls them. 
And we are heroes, so why don't we call us as we are? And if you see there that little Kremlin, it's gonna suffocate and die. Now to replace Squawks in this level, we have sort of a new enemy, uh, what's it called, animal buddy, Glimmer, and he's a fish with a light on his head. I don't, angler fish, I think, yeah. So he will be helping us through the level. As you see, it doesn't, oh, never mind, I was going to say it doesn't flash when you turn, but it still does. Yeah. And I think we're almost to the midway, so it would suck to die right now. Yeah, the midway's right. Oh no, suicidal puffer fish. I don't want to go down here. It's going to be a float some. And then he's going to get... Actually, I want to go here. Yeah, there's the float some, which means the midway's right up here. Come on, come on. No! Okay. That, that scared me. I didn't know he had a pattern. Midway's right here. Okay, good. I just knew that last float someone was gonna kill me. But it didn't. And there's those Shuriken guys again. Well, their names are Shiri, not Shuriken, but I was just, you know, that's what they are. They're like Shuriken fish. Whoa, that thing followed me a ways. Yeah, the next bonus isn't for a while, so don't worry about that. Just can. Whoa! He went through a wall. What's up with that, man? Doesn't matter. I got my monkey back. Okay, yeah, follow me. Don't worry about enemies too much. Usually, if you can't see them in the light, they won't be able to get you. Um, here, here's the bone for the second bonus. Just avoid this lockjaw. And there we go. Yeah. Another find the token. This one's a maze too, but they made it a bit harder. Remember, don't follow the bananas. What you want to go do is go down and to the right. So as long as you're to the right and down, and don't follow the bananas, you'll be fine. Notice I didn't get a single banana, but I made it through. So that's all that matters. When you come back up, that lockjaw will still be there though. Be careful of that. Um, I think we're at the near the end there's the G should be up here no I already passed the G here's more suicidal puffer, puffer fish and they have different ways of uh, exploding they can rather do uh, up like the shape of the control pad or a crisscross like an X and that last puffer fish will swim up to block that banana coin and here's the last enemy don't let him kill you that'd be sad um, I love how he like falls into the water and dies and you hear a splash <laughs> and you can see the splash which I thought was cool that was an interesting song though we might see that another time in this level game world I don't know but okay for this you need to go left but what I recommend doing is taking this DK barrel killing one of the bees makes it a little easier or not. Yeah, I can't do this without Diddy. Yeah, I can't. Well, I'm just gonna go back here then. I'll come back later for it. Yeah, this is much easier with Dixie. I like using Diddy for it because that's the way you're meant to do it. And those guys are called Kaboings. Those, those Kremlings. Well, I guess we're gonna get another chance for the DK coin now, aren't we? Yeah. So, well, now I have Diddy. He makes it easier for this level because it was made for Diddy. All these obstacles tailored to Diddy and his body. So yeah, Dixie breaks this level. You have Diddy, Dixie. This level is worthless because it's so freaking easy. Both Diddy, it's challenging but doable. I don't care about the O. Screw the O. Okay, our first bonus. And as you probably figured out, we are getting our good friend Squitter in this bonus. So yeah, let's kill these bees. Because killing zingers is what the game is about. Zingers are everything. 
That'd be weird if there was like a Kremlin Zinger. And it's like all green and that'd be weird, man. A green Zinger with like crocodile teeth. That'd be scary. Zingers are freaky enough. Like a crocodile Zinger. Okay, those are Clingers. And they... I already talked about them, but I just remembered their name. Okay, I regret missing the O now. But everyone knew I was going to regret that. Jump on him. You can jump on them while they're on the vines. Which is cool. Yeah, I need to find a platform so I can switch my Kongs. Or get hit. That's fine, I guess. What? That be? Okay, I'll go back to that. Okay, guys, I'm back. To this part I died on. A little bit ago. And I'm gonna die on it again, apparently. Nope, I'm not. So I'm going to live. Yes. Don't get hit by that last B, please. That would not be cool. Okay, let's try to get the DK coin this time. Usually I get the DK coin every time. This is like the first time I've ever failed it, so... Oh, I need to do this fast. I really want to get to the next level. Because I love that level. Okay, I need... Okay, I need Dixie K. At least we get that one up every time. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid. I guess that's sort of cheating, but I felt like doing it that way. I'm sure no other Let's Player does it that way, now do they? They have to do it by the rules, because they're goody two shoes. So there we go. Now Rattle Battle. This is an awesome level. Um, it has a new concept in it. And I can't get that bonus, because I killed Diddy, darn. Anyway, I'll come back to that. In this one, you have to be Rattly, not just be on him, which is cool. And this music is from the final boss of Donkey Kong Country, where you fight K. Rool. Also looks like it too, because it's a ship. I don't know why they put this in the third world instead of the first. Now one thing I want to explain with Rattly is he can jump in the air. Which is awesome. So, you can jump higher and stuff. Which I'll demonstrate in a second how you would need that. Like that. You could jump off the B, but I decided showing you that way. I think, yeah, there's a bonus right here. Bonus for days. So let's get the token. Like, when does it not get to find the token? It should have, like... I don't know, like, a bunch of tokens, you have to pick the right one or something. That'd be interesting. Like, one has a monkey face, one has the Kremlin face, one has a pirate Kremlin face, something like that. Watch out for these abnormally large jumping boings. They are... they come out of nowhere. Anyway, here's the hero coin. Now, demonstrate jumping in the air, right there. And the midway's right there. Okay, good. And DK. So that worked out fine. And there are a bunch of banana coins in this level. And that B is on. That B is high. That, it was going everywhere. Okay, what you want to do here, if you want to get the end, wait for the slow barrel. And then there you go. These, they don't fly normally. Normal. What's wrong with them? Maybe it's that green water. Drinking green water is not good for the flesh girl. I don't know. Yeah, what you want to do here is you'll jump higher if you wait till you uh, do that in the air bounce thing. You'll jump higher, further, better. You don't even need to do the super bounce, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, come on. Come on, Ratley. There you go. Oh, Ratley. Okay, these blue ones wait till you jump before they jump. So, they'll just stand there if you don't do anything. And here's a cannon shooting cannon balls. And you can. What? What just ha- I don't know. Screw the zinger. Okay. Watch out, they'll re respawn. 
they'll respawn. What you want to do here is super bounce onto those barrels and then barrel jump and not die. And I think there's a DK barrel coming up. Please. Oh, the end of the level. That's that's cool, but I rather I had a DK. Oh, the, oh yeah, there's a DK to the right side. There's sometimes hidden ones at the end of the level. So yeah. Um, we missed the. Oh yeah, that first bonus. Okay. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, bonus songs. Okay, this one you need Dixie for, which is why they make you get both Kongs before you can get into the bonus. At least I'm assuming. So there we go. Now let's go to Slime Climb. Slime Climb, I hate this level. When I was younger, like six years ago when I played this game, this level was killing me. I literally breezed through the rest of the whole game and slime climb. I, I just couldn't just couldn't do this level. I don't know why. I don't know why. You in the background it's like I don't know what's with green in this level world, but green clouds, green water, green every green kremlins. Green ropes. Yes, those ropes are green. What, green zingers? Oh, uh, no green zingers. Oh, yes, Dixie. I know there wasn't a bonus over there. It was just a shortcut barrel. Jump. No, no shortcut for me. No, don't hide the midway. It was right there. No. No. Well, since that was the midway, I'll just, I'll just, you know. Here's the midway, guys. Right there. Okay, here's a bonus that we want to achieve. You just swim down here with the bonus and get this bonus. Wait, swim down here with invincibility and get the bonus. Diddy. This isn't gonna end well. Actually, this is ending pretty well. Don't tell me I'm gonna beat this Diddy and die with Dixie. That's really sad. And Diddy commits suicide. Okay. okay. Come on, come on. There we go. I recommend getting that invincibility. Just because you can, you know, skip a lot of this part. Just run through all those enemies. Don't worry about the zingers for these guys. Unless it wears off. Right here, you want to avoid the zingers while climbing. Which is where the slime climb actually comes in. Before we weren't really climbing. Yeah, it can be pretty difficult at these parts. It's similar to Main Brace Mayhem, except you sort of have to rush. And this part is at the very end, but those stupid clobbers. No, I can't die. No, I need the invincible barrel. No, no, no. Okay, guys, let's not get hit by the clobber this time. Yeah, I believe, oh great, okay, there's a part I need Diddy on, but luckily it's not here yet, so that would have made me sad. Yeah, so, okay guys, let's not fail with this bonus this time. What do you mean, let's, it's me, I have to not fail. Okay, that was really stupid and not worth it. At least I know they respawn now. Wow, that was so easy. <sighs> Why? <sighs> Great. Great. At least we can get the hero coin. I'll probably kill myself after that. No okay, guys. Well, that was Slime Pine. And it was a pain. And next time, we will start off with Bramble Blast. What an awesome level with awesome music. So you should definitely stay tuned for that. So this has been JBR154. And we've been going through Krem, Krem Key. And next time we'll finish it up and maybe start Crazy Kremlin. Thanks for watching. See you next time.